everybody. I am Dr. Sherry Janie Din. I'm a resident doctor at the Live Well Clinic in La Quinta, California. You can follow us on Instagram at, at Live Well Clinic, and you can follow me at DocSJND. So welcome to our fifth episode of the Nature Walk that takes place here in the southwestern part of the United States. Today we're going to go through a plant that's very familiar to you guys. It's a culinary herb, and it's Rosemarinus officinalis, otherwise known as rosemary. It's actually native to the Mediterranean. It's in the Lamiaceae family. It's an evergreen shrub that gets to be about a meter and a half to two meters high. If you look closely down at the um, stems, you can see they're a very tough, thick barked, woody stem. They come straight up into their leaves, which mean it's called sessile, when the leaves come straight off the stem like that. The leaves are dark on the top, they're light on the bottom with a white stripe. The medicinal aspects are actually found in the leaves themselves. They're volatile oils. Over here we have uh, some of the flowers here, a little sample of the flowers. They're tubular bilabiate flowers. They can be white, light blue, or purple in color. And so some of the medicinal aspects of this plant is that it's very, very good antimicrobial. It's used uh, very commonly in respiratory infections. It's also an antioxidant. It is uh, a um, inflammation modulator and used for tons of inflammatory conditions. It's a cardiovascular stimulant, and it's also nootropic, which means it's used to improve cognition. Another cool part about this plant is that it's both stimulating and relaxing, and it is an antispasmodic. In addition to these few things that I've mentioned, there are a ton more applications for this plant medicinally. Historically, um, it's been used for ceremonies. Um, it's been used to ward off evil. And it has been known to be planted around hospitals or burned inside hospitals to actually purify the air. Um, another interesting uh, note that I found is that it was used as a component in something called thieves vinegar, which had uh, rosemary, thyme, lavender, sage, and garlic in it. And it allowed the thieves to continue going about their business without catching the Black Death Plague that took place in Europe. So very, very strong antimicrobial properties. I want to thank you for joining me today and learning a little bit more about this very common culinary herb. I hope, I hope you have a little bit more appreciation for it. Thank you for joining me and I'm wishing the best to you and your family. Take care.